Greg, Freddie said you were remorseful after what happened yesterday. Can you kind of take us through how that all went down? Um, during the play, uh, I was just trying hard, you know, but uh, I ended up bumping into a guy and uh, he braced himself and pushed back on me as I was trying to make sure the pile didn't fall on me. But uh, as I fell, he was coming forward, kicked him in his helmet. I had no idea I would be ejected, but uh, the referee explained everything to me as he walked me off. And that was the case. It's uh, something you hate to see. Uh, I hurt the team, honestly. And I feel like um, if I can have it back, I would do things differently. But um, it was basically just a reaction. I couldn't really help myself. You said you were trying to kick him in the head? No, sir. You were trying to kick him at all? I didn't. I didn't even know he was falling towards me. But uh, as I hit the ground, I seen him. And yeah, my foot just made contact. It, I think it looked worse than it was, you know. But yeah. So if you were intentionally trying to do that, what, what could you do differently? Maybe just curl my knees to my chest almost, you know, just try to avoid it. But uh, it was just a shocking thing. I didn't think I was going to fall because clearly I was just trying to make sure the pile didn't basically fall on me and I end up under the pile. But uh, the guy pushed me and I just fell backwards. He <laughs> went there. Like you said, does look worse. Because I mean, you look at the replay, it looks like you just aimed for his head and kicked him in the head. Did you, did you tell Vaccaro you didn't mean to? Or did you nah. Honestly, I was just on to the next play. And uh, I seen the flag, obviously. And they, they paused for a second. And then he was like, oh, you made contact with his head. You have to get out. So, yeah. In, uh, in general, how do you account for all the uh, personal falls in this game? It's everyone who, who got one was kind of a veteran player. It's not like there are rookies out there. Yeah, it's nothing we practice. You know, Coach, uh, he harps on just being smart and trying to play clean, you know, and that's part of the reason the referees are at our practices. But, uh, yeah, you, you hate to see it, and it's just inevitable at times, you know. Some guys just play with relentless effort, and um, when you're in tough situations, it's hard to overcome it, but you just got to play smarter and move on. Do you feel fortunate that it sounds like you're only going to be fined and not suspended if you feel fortunate for that? Well, at this point, I don't have no idea what's going on. <laughs> if I get fined, I get fined. Greg, uh, all those penalties aside, the offensive line, how would you assess? You guys gave up five sacks in eight games mm -hmm. last year, and, uh, and they gave five sacks in one game yesterday. What do you think is, is different about you guys as a group? Um, I think last year was last year. You know what I'm saying? We on to, on to the next, and uh, you hate to start that way. At the end of the day, um, it looks bad on us as a unit, and also it hurts our QB's confidence, you know what I'm saying? So at uh, this point moving forward, I feel like Baker should have no doubt that we have his back, and we're going to try to keep him upright as much as possible. Well, what, how, what can be done to make it better? Mm, just continue practicing the way we've been practicing, and try our best to iron out the wrinkles in communication. Was it tough watching the second half from the locker room? Mm, yeah, I tried not to watch too much. You know, I saw a few a few plays, but I was just frustrated that I was out. Hey, Craig, Craig, I did you think so. it even worse when Kendall Lamb joined you in the locker room? Did oh, you yeah. feel even worse about it? Yeah, and point? that's basically once he came into the locker room, me and him just kind of sprinkled and watched it a little bit here and there and just discuss some things that we could help the guys on once they come into the locker room. Do you apologize to the team in total at, at all? Well, I haven't had the opportunity to get everyone up front. I feel like it was just a quiet locker room after the loss. But um, here and there, I've seen a few guys, and they came in at halftime. I tried my best to encourage them and let them know that I let them down and basically apologize for it. 
Greg, it seemed like the Titans did a lot of talking, and it seemed like they were doing some stuff to, to bait you guys in a way. I know that's not uncommon, but do you think this is going to be something this team's going to have to watch this season? Mm, you never want to let guys trigger you, get you out of your game, any of that. Just stay home with yourself at the end of the day and just basically it's man on man. You know, everybody talks. I don't really win the game, you know, so um, I feel like what we need to watch out for is just guys trying to trigger us and just be smart like Coach Freddie has told us in meetings this morning because that's the things that's going to hurt us. It's really us being out talented is us hurting ourselves mentally. So, Coach has said in the past, uh, we'll see what this team is made of when they face adversity. Mm -hmm. How do you feel you guys are handling adversity right now? I feel like we, we're doing pretty fine. Uh, tomorrow we get a, a head start on basically the Jets, but it's more so correcting ourselves. And um, I wouldn't really dwell on it too much. Like he said, it's only one game. And from this point, from this point moving forward, I feel like we just need to correct our mistakes and eliminate the things that really hurt us and then move forward. Have you ever been ejected before? No, I haven't. So did that make it even kind of more surprising to you that he was leading <laughs> you off the field? Yeah, I don't ever want to be labeled as a dirty player, you know. I, I work hard and I try my best to keep the game clean, you know, because I know sometimes we are targeted based off reputation, but uh, it's something that I can't control. All I can do is just play each play, one play at a time.